Yo, what's up? Today, we're making a track like Tiny Meat Gang. TMG, short for Tiny Meat Gang, is a rap duo consisting of the very white Cody Kolejczyk and the very ethnically ambiguous Noel Miller. Both of them mostly known as YouTubers, actors, comedians, and overall entertainers. Both Cody and Noel got their first big break on the internet through the now dead video app Vine. Yo, you guys wanna go get pizza? I'm down. Shut up, Jeff, I wasn't talking to you. I'm down. Hey, it's your boy, uh, Skinny Penis. They both knew each other from their popular Vine videos, but they wouldn't actually meet in person until they both unknowingly started working together at full screen. Yeah, I walked in like, what's up, man? And you were like, whoa, whoa, what, what the <laughs> fuck? The look on your face was hilarious. You're like, what the, f you fucking work here? <laughs> they would soon start collaborating a lot in vlogs and commentary videos, and they started getting a lot of attention because of their perfect synergy. After a while, they branched out into making some parody rap songs like Keep Your Dick Fat and Clout, both songs taking shots at popular trends in the YouTube sphere. They continued to release songs, most of them being comedy based, but over time, the quality of their songs got better and better. Racking up millions of streams and views, and collaborating with artists like Black Bear and producers like Spock, Diamond Pistols, and Rinks, who's actually Vanoss Gaming. I had no idea it was the same guy. But yeah, their music's actually really good. Here's a couple fun facts. Noel actually has a lot of director credits, like directing the videos for Broke Bitch and Club Poor, and he even made his own short film called Suki. And Cody used to be a diver. So after listening to a bulk of their discography, I did spot some trends in their production. The primary producers, Spock and Diamond Pistols, tend to rely heavily on short, fast, catchy melodies with instruments ranging from synths to bells and even guitars. For my track, I wanted to combine a couple of their most popular songs, kinda into one Frankenstein monster type beat. I really like the tempo and string sounding synth and Walkman, so I started basing my song off of that. But for like the past three videos or so, I've just been really in a mood to use samples, so I ended up sampling the melody I made in my YBN Corday video. That's right boys, we're getting meta with these samples. I wonder who sponsored that video. This video is sponsored by Melodics. Oh yeah. This video is also sponsored by Melodics. Melodics is a desktop app that teaches you how to play the piano. You can plug and play with your MIDI keyboard, but if all you have is your computer, that works too. Melodics has a range of lessons and courses for any level of piano proficiency. Even if you have zero knowledge of the piano or a couple years under your belt, there's going to be a course for you. The new guided tab shows you exactly what courses to do and where to go next if you're completely new to Melodics, but if you know what you want to practice, there's tons of courses waiting for you, with numerous genres to choose from ranging from jazz to hip-hop to electronic and everything in between. Melodics keeps track of your accuracy and timing when you play, giving you feedback on what you need to work on while also giving you words of encouragement along the way. And the lessons you learn inside Melodics can be taken outside of the app, like working on your own music, jamming out in a studio session, or even performing live. The possibilities are endless. If you want the app, I'll have a link in the description. It is free to download. So after I got my sample into my project, I sped it up to the tempo I envisioned. I'm fast as fuck, boy. And then I used the slow-mo plugin to half-time the sample, but I used an automation clip to only slow down parts of the sample. Then I recorded that sound and ran it through Fruity Slicer, pitched the sample up and then added effects like Crystallizer to give it some high frequency textures. I also added an EQ to clean up the low frequencies and use a stereo shaper and reverb to fill out the sound. I also wanted the sample to sound different for some other parts of the track, so I used halftime in certain sections of the song so it sounds like this. And finally, I made a clone of the sample and pitched it down, so it sounds like this. I wanted the drums to have that fast-paced, bouncy vibe, so I used some pretty common trap hi-hats, drums, and snares. And then I made a stripped down version of that pattern for some slower breakdowns of the beat. So I actually used three different basses for this track, all of them pulling from some of TMG's more popular tracks. I used the Spins 808 for a Walkman type of sound. This plug style 808 that gave the track a vibe like Broke Bitch. Bruh. <laughs> 
And then finally I use this synth bass, pulling a lot of inspiration from Short King's Anthem. I bounce between which basses are playing, and then I pair them up with the different variations of the melodies I made earlier. Here's what the beat sounds like. Let's take a look at their lyrical style. Their writing style is highly influenced by their style of comedy. Both Cody and Noel have funny lyrics with a lot of witty punchlines and self-deprecating humor. Noel usually raps with a cold, low tone and usually has some bar about taking someone's girl. Cody's voice is mellow and frictionless and it kind of has this cool white boy vibe to it. It's almost like he raps in Times New Roman. A lot of their lyrics are very descriptive and do a good job pointing out minute details in a situation. Many of their songs have a theme that they follow throughout the track, whether that theme be not flexing, being safe, or just being short. Uh, I'm gonna have a theme for my track as well. My song is gonna focus on the theme of being famous. I think I got a lot of things to write about that. Real talk, there's literally no reason for their music to slap as hard as it does. But their music is really good, and I can't be mad at it. I know some people think that comedic music is disingenuous or not as important, but at the end of the day, your music should be entertaining. Even the most popular songs of my career were songs that I made as a joke or just because I thought it was funny. And you can take this as some words of encouragement, even if your projects start off as jokes, go for it. You might make something fire. Shout out to Noel, his short film was really cool, and shout out to Cody for showing love to the channel in the past. I'm looking forward to their new stuff. Security, better step back. People see that I'm winning and then they get mad. If I take your girl, that's the girl you'll never get back. That's fast. Enough's enough. I got racks and racks like I'm Lil Pump. They might call me Tony Hawk. Looking at the way I stunt. They don't know what's rented, but you know I whip a Bentley truck. I don't work at Target, but you know I'm on the up and up. Hey, did a photo shoot and it's hella dope. Nice. You can see my picture on the center fall. Sick. Kinda hard to manage all my schedules. If you want me for a show, should've booked a year ago. Yeah, I think I'm getting famous. You already know what my name is. So cold, looking like Anchorage. We be on the different things. You want the same shit? Bitch, I'm famous, boy. You know that I'm a star. I'm a star. Paparazzi know exactly who we are. Who we are? Foreign clothes, hey, hey. foreign cars. Hey, hey. Getting famous, better tell you. Today we're gonna start with bars. Bars! Bars, homie.